let's now understand pandas series objects just like how data frame is a very important data structure in pandas series is also a very important data structure now you know the data frame can be composed of multiple different columns whereas a series is composed of one single column only in fact if you take a data frame and extract just one single column out of a data frame what you get is a series so let's see how to first create a series and then we will do certain operations on top of that as always import numpy as np pandas as pd what i'm going to do first is create this data frame from a random array of integers right here we have the columns a b c d from this if you simply extract column a alone tf a like this you will get your series if you look at the type of this object you will see that pandas dot core dot series dot series for a data frame this would be a data frame instead of a series right now this series you can subset just like how you would subset from python lists so from this series if you want to get the first three items do the indexing just like how you would do with python list and if you want to get the underlying array behind that series use dot values attribute and you will get that array behind it all right you can convert this array to a list also using this to list method all right so let's quickly revise first i created the data frame from this extracted the series the type if you check it is a series you can extract individual items from it by usual indexing also using the values attribute you will get the numpy array convert it to a list using to list attribute to list function or to list method right now we extracted the series from a data frame you can also create your own stand alone series without a data frame also here that's what we are doing here we have a numpy array here right we are having the data i'm creating the index also and just like how a data frame has an index series also has an index to create a series just use pd.series pandas.series data optionally you can give a name to the series also here in the earlier series there is a name given called a that is the name of the column here right if you want to have your standalone series to have a name you can give that here see the output of this you have the name as numbers all the items are present and by default the index of the series the index of this series starts from 0 to 0 1 2 3 4 and onwards right this is how it's created you can also pass in your own index here we have created an index here right you can pass it to the index argument index parameter run this and you will get your series now this series has a b c d and so on as the index now if you look at the type let's quickly check the type as well this is a series you can do vectorized operation on top of the series to multiply each and every number inside it by the number 2 if you do this on a list that list will be repeated two times it won't do an actual multiplication whereas if you do star 2 here on the series it will multiply each and every element by 2 now this is how you create a series couple of ways to create a series we have seen now let's see how to extract individual items from a series now this series has indexes as a b c d and so on right if you want a particular element you can refer to that index put it in a square bracket you will get that particular element now ser is still this this is the actual series by multiplying it by 2 we have not saved it into ser object that is not happening right so the number at b position is still one here that's what this is coming out now if you want to extract more than one item from the series what you should not do is you should not pass all the indexes something like this you should not do this because series is a one dimensional object there is no for a data frame there are two dimensions for a data frame you have rows as one dimensions columns as another dimensions whereas a series is just one dimension this is a simple array so within this square brackets you cannot pass a and b like this you need to combine a and b into a list and pass that list inside the square bracket so inside series square bracket it takes just one argument that argument can be a list inside that list you can have as many items as you want now on running this now this code won't work on running this you will get the items that you want right you can also extract the index of the series using ser.index or ser.keys method both will give you the index so now we have seen how to create a series from a data frame we have seen how to create a series using pandas.series method 
you can also create a series from a dictionary using the pandas.series method you can pass in a dictionary to it the keys of the dictionary will form the index and the values will form the values of the series that also we can do that's what we have we are doing here as well i need to run this code and then this one so ser1 contains this particular dictionary over here likewise let's look at the content of ser2 as well ser2 also contains 013 both of them contain 013 but if you notice the index of ser2 is a bit different from ser1 so if you try to add these two series what do you think will happen if you try to add ser1 plus ser2 what should be the output do you think 0 comma 2 comma 6 will be the output that will not be the case because when you are trying to add two series it will align the indexes together so what comes out is it will add so a b c d in ser1 it contains 0 1 and 3 in ser2 it contains 0 1 and 3 it will add both of these together like this adding a 0 with na will give you na adding 1 and 0 will give you 1 4 and this is na right that is the output that you are seeing here correct so when you are adding two series make sure the indexes of the series are in alignment otherwise the output that you will get will not be as expected so what to do in this particular case in this particular case what you can alternately do that is if you want to get the output as 0 comma 2 comma 6 if you want to get this output what you could do is you can add in series 1 dot values plus series 2 dot values if you do this you will get this output because the concept of index does not exist in numpy arrays right if you do this if you add it like this you will get the desired output all right now in this output itself if you want to take care of the nan values you can use ser dot add method of ser ser one dot add use fill value equal to zero so wherever nan occurs it will be filled with zero so in the first series for d position the value will be zero in the second series a position the value will be zero right after this the computation will happen and the output will be produced 